The Queensland Government can go stick their check-in app up their ass. I refuse to use it, and I will do my best to never check in, or if I'm forced, I'll check in under a pseudonym. I'm not going to go along with this, and I think everyone who values freedom should do the same. This has gone too far now. Under the new rules coming in on Friday the 9th of July, you must now check in to the following locations. Venues that attract large crowds, such as stadiums, convention centres, theme parks, concert venues and cinemas, shopping centres and supermarkets. Now I'm not going to read any further. Shopping centres and supermarkets? So when we go to do our grocery shopping, they now want us to check in? What sort of totalitarian society are we living in? Forget them. I'm not doing it. I'm not going along with this. We have to stand up for our liberties, and this is not liberty. This is state control. This is Big Brother monitoring our movements. If we let them get away with this, we may as well give up on democracy as we know it. If you honestly think that checking into every place you visit is somehow going to save you from a virus, then you're not thinking rationally. If you catch the virus, this app isn't going to save you. So why are you using it? To make somebody's job a little bit easier at the expense of all your freedoms? Failure to comply with public health directions can lead to a $13,345 fine or six months' imprisonment. If this is really important, why do we stop there? Why don't we reinstate capital punishment and execute those who don't comply? These ladies have to be stopped. I didn't elect them. They don't represent me. I'm going to write to my local members of parliament and tell them that this is not on. I hope you do the same. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Benjamin Franklin Although it was stated a few hundred years ago, it's even more relevant today. If you think I'm overreacting, just think what the government are doing. They're threatening you with jail time if you don't allow them to monitor your movements. That's f***ed up, and is something that even Communist China would envy. The time for civil disobedience is now. Yeah.